morning South Africa here with the daily news wrap from the SouthAfrican.com. It's Wednesday, the 3rd of March, 2021, and my name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com. In our top story, a joint press conference from AfriForum and Solidarity has turned over some eye-opening details on Tuesday. Both groups revealed that the government cannot prevent private firms or citizens from sourcing their own vaccines, allowing them to dodge the national rollout. However, the chances of successfully making such a purchase remain slim. In more tragic news, a group of South African mercenaries faces an internal investigation after fighters from a private firm were accused of committing war crimes in Mozambique. The Dyke Adversary Group, who provide high-level security services, have members fighting against ISIS-aligned insurgents in the Cabo Delgado region, but all has not been fair in the troubled territory. The members of the DAG were allegedly hired by the government of Mozambique in order to quell the ongoing terror threats. Meanwhile, the Economic Freedom Fighters EFF on Tuesday the 2nd March blamed President Cyril Ramaphosa for misleading the nation with regards to the Johnson & Johnson vaccine clinical trial. In addition, the party believes that Minister Zuelim Kize failed to divulge necessary information on the J&J vaccine trial being presented and carried out as an actual vaccination process whilst it is still undergoing Phase 3B of vaccine trials for COVID-19 in South Africa. In your sports today, kickoff.com reports that Kuna was asked by Chiefs to slow down on their posting or relying on his fans on social media. And while it is unclear as to when Kuna and Chiefs had the same discussion, it is evident that both parties are in agreement as the goalkeeper hasn't posted anything since February 1, 2021. Meanwhile, Orlando Pirates lead Bloemfontein Celtic in the DSTV Premiership clash at Orlando Stadium. The score was goalless at halftime, but the opening half wasn't without incident. Bloemfontein Celtic finished the first half with 10 men after Nurmiso Mabena was shown a straight red card for a horrible studs-up challenge on Lindam Tambo. In other news, Racing's reputation suffered another blow on Tuesday as jockey Rob James apologized for a video circulating of him jumping on a dead horse and pretending to ride it. James's apology comes hot on the heels of three-time Grand National winning trainer and fellow Irishman Gordon Elliott also apologizing for sitting on a dead horse whilst on the phone. Elliott faces a hearing thought likely to be held on Thursday or Friday this week into the image of him. In your weather today, Bloemfontein is a sunny 30 degrees, Cape Town is at 22, Pretoria comes at a cloudy 27, and Johannesburg is a sunny 25. And that's all the news you really need to know from the South African today. Why not subscribe for so much more of this audio paper straight to your mobile device? And for more of these and other stories, please visit the SouthAfrican.com. My name, Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com.